Writing code can get messy, especially when you are a beginner. Sometimes you focus so much on making the code work that you forget how hard to read and understand it is. You might start using lots of if-else statements and make pretty long and confusing functions that do multiple things, making it difficult to maintain. Let me tell you a little secret that senior developers don't tell you. They practice functional programming paradigms. Functional programming may not be too popular, but learning those concepts can make you a better developer. Let's dive in with a simple example using the Elixir programming language. I'm in my terminal and I will create a new project with the mix command that will be called person. Then I will change directory to the new one that was created and run the test. Then I will open the folder on my editor. Let's open our test for our module under the test folder and let's create four tests. So in our module, we will create a function that will check the age of the person. So our first assertion here uh, will check if we are passing new or nothing. If there is no age, then you're not a person. So it will return that string. The second assertion will assert that if you are under 18, then no. The third one, if you are under 21 but over 18, then not in the US. And the fourth one, then if you are over 21, then yes. Okay, now with our four tests done, then let's run the test. As you can see, everything is red, so let's make our test green. Okay, now let's open our module under the leaf folder. And let's get rid of all of this. And let's create a function. The first thing that we're going to do is to check if the age that we are passing to our function is nil or not. If it's nil, then we'll return the you're not a person string. If it's not nil, then we will create a conditional. A conditionals in Elixir, in Elixir are a simpler way to create if else statements. Well, we can do way better. So the first condition uh, will check that the age is less than 18. Second one, if it's less than 21. And the third one is going to be true. So in that case, then the age is over 21. So we will return yes. So now let's run our test. Everything screen. So we pass our test so it's working but let's refactor our code to make it better so now instead of having the condition and the if else statement we will call another function that is going to be called legal okay so we created four functions with the same name might look a little bit confusing if you come from another language. In Elixir, you can call a function with the same name multiple times once until all the conditions are met. That's the beauty of functional programming. Functions are created in the short inline form. First, we make the first function to check if the age is nil. It has to be the first function that is gets called because in Elixir functions are called from top to bottom so that's the one that one has to be the first one at the top to check if he, if the age is nil okay so now let's run our test and we still green so uh, we just make our code better 
So now we 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 don't even need the uh, the legal functions. So we're just gonna make all the legal functions, and we will name it the Kendrin function. Yeah, let's run our test again, and we're still green. Now our code looks cleaner than a baby's mind. Functional programming with Elixir is an exquisite dish served in a 5 stars international restaurant. <laughs>